Imagine a world where the sky is filled with rings of ice and rock, where the seasons last for years, and where dozens of moons orbit around you. This is the world of Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest in our solar system. Saturn is a gas giant like Jupiter, but it has a unique feature that makes it stand out, its spectacular ring system. Saturn's rings are the most extensive and complex in the solar system, and they have fascinated astronomers for centuries. But how much do we really know about Saturn? How did its rings form, and what secrets do they hide? Thanks to a new image from the James Webb Space Telescope, we are about to find out more than ever before. In this episode, we will explore Saturn and its rings and discover some of the new findings that this powerful telescope has revealed. So buckle up and get ready for a cosmic journey to Saturn. Saturn is a remarkable planet in many ways. It is the second largest planet in our solar system after Jupiter, with a diameter of about 120,000 kilometers, 75,000 miles. That's about nine times the size of Earth. It is also the least dense planet, with an average density of only 0.69 grams per cubic centimeter. That means it would float on water if you could find a big enough ocean to put it in. It is made mostly of hydrogen and helium, also like Jupiter, but it has traces of other elements, such as methane, ammonia, and water. This planet has a powerful magnetic field that extends far into space, creating a magnetosphere that interacts with the solar wind and produces auroras at its poles. Saturn has at least 82 known moons, more than any other planet in the solar system. Some of them are large enough to be considered dwarf planets, such as Titan and Rhea. Titan is the only moon in the solar system with a thick atmosphere and a liquid cycle on its surface. It has lakes and rivers of methane and ethane and a weather system similar to Earth's. Rhea is the second largest moon of Saturn and has a thin oxygen atmosphere. It also has a faint ring system of its own, making it the only moon with rings. Saturn is not only beautiful, but also mysterious. It has a complex weather system that produces storms and winds that can reach up to 1,800 kilometers per hour. And it also has a hot interior that radiates more energy than it receives from the sun. But our knowledge of Saturn did not stop there. Thanks to this new image from the James Webb Space Telescope, we now know more secrets about this planet than ever before. One of the James Webb Space Telescope's main instruments is the Near Infrared Camera, which took this amazing, fresh new image of Saturn. The image was taken at a wavelength of 3.23 microns, which is about five times longer than the reddest light that we can see. At this wavelength, Saturn's atmosphere appears very dark because methane gas absorbs almost all of the sunlight that reaches it. However, scientists added orange color to the monochrome picture to release this image to the public. But the rings remain relatively bright because they reflect more infrared light than they absorb. This new image shows Saturn's rings in stunning detail, revealing features that are not visible in other wavelengths or with other telescopes. For example, we can see the thin F ring, which is located beyond the main rings and is shaped by two small shepherd moons, Prometheus and Pandora. We can also see some of Saturn's moons, such as Dione, Enceladus, and Tethys. But what is even more exciting is that the image also reveals some unexpected features in Saturn's atmosphere that have never been seen before at this wavelength. For instance, we can see some large, dark, diffuse structures in the northern hemisphere that do not follow the planet's lines of latitude. These structures may be related to Saturn's weather patterns or to variations in its methane abundance. The image also shows some bright spots near Saturn's poles that may be caused by auroras or by clouds that are higher than the surrounding ones. These spots are interesting because they indicate that there is some activity going on in Saturn's upper atmosphere that we do not fully understand yet. But perhaps the most exciting discovery from this image is the possibility of new moons around Saturn. The image shows several faint dots near the edge of the A-ring that could be previously unknown satellites. These dots are too small to be seen by other telescopes, but Webb's high sensitivity and resolution can detect them. Scientists are still analyzing the data to confirm if these dots are indeed new moons or just noise in the image. If they are new moons, they could help us understand how Saturn's ring system evolved over time. 
Some of the moons may have formed from the material in the rings, while others may have been captured by Saturn's gravity. They may also interact with the rings and other moons, creating gaps and waves in the ring system. By studying these new moons, we could learn more about the origin and history of Saturn and its rings. This is not the first time that Saturn has been imaged by a space telescope. In fact, Saturn has been visited by four spacecraft in the past, Pioneer 11, Voyager 1 and 2, and Cassini-Huygens. Each of these missions has provided us with valuable information and stunning views of the ringed planet. Pioneer 11 was the first spacecraft to fly by Saturn in 1979. It took the first close-up images of Saturn and its rings, revealing details such as the F-ring and the Cassini division. It also discovered two new moons, Atlas and Epimetheus. Voyager 1 and 2 were the next spacecraft to encounter Saturn in 1980 and 1981. They took high-resolution images of Saturn and its rings, showing features such as spokes, braids, and kinks. They also discovered four new moons, Prometheus, Pandora, Helene, and Telesto. Voyager 2 also observed Saturn's largest moon, Titan, but could not see through its thick atmosphere. Cassini-Huygens was the most ambitious mission to Saturn. It orbited Saturn from 2004 to 2017, taking more than 450,000 images of the planet and its moons. It also deployed a probe named Huygens that landed on Titan in 2005, becoming the first spacecraft to touch down on a moon other than our own. Cassini-Huygens revealed many surprises about Saturn and its system, such as the hexagonal storm at its North Pole, the water plumes on Enceladus, and the lakes and seas on Titan. But even with all these previous missions, there is still much to learn about Saturn. That's why James Webb is taking a fresh look at the planet with its infrared vision. Webb can see things that other telescopes cannot, such as the heat emitted by Saturn and its moons, the chemical composition of their atmospheres, and the faint objects near their rings. Webb can also observe Saturn for longer periods of time than other telescopes, allowing it to study seasonal changes and weather patterns on the planet and its moons. Thank you for watching this video about Saturn and its new image from James Webb. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about this fascinating world. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos about space exploration. And don't forget to share your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. See you next time.